Frustration free packaging or FFP been getting a lot of questions about this, uh, especially on the vendor side lately. I think some of the vendor managers are really pushing for this. My name is Jason Master Mateo with my Amazon guy. And uh, just going to do a little pros cons here on uh, and explain what FFP or frustration free packaging is. Uh, I've got this little Lego listing here and you can see we have a variation of standard packaging or frustration free packaging. And basically what frustration free packaging is, is something that Amazon will certify where you're shipping the box or Amazon shipping the box as is normally, most of the time. Sometimes they'll put it in an Amazon box, but they won't put any dunnage in there or pillows or anything like that. It's going as is in the packaging. So the really only pro here is um, environmental. If, if you're doing some sort of, you know, okay, we want to be environmental. All of the other things are bad. Um, so let's start with um, the box is getting shipped as is. So you've got your Lego here. You pick frustration free packaging. Um, I don't know why you would. It's $50 or $60 more expensive here. But then your Lego box arrives like this, you know. Um, so obviously you're going to get returns and stuff like that. We don't want that. Uh, it creates a variation that is confusing to the customer. A lot of people don't know what frustration free packaging is or standard packaging. They're, they're unsure what they want. Uh, not in this situation. Obviously they're going to pick the cheaper one. Um, and, uh, this was really only good. And I think this is why. Uh, you, there's getting a, a lot of push here from vendor managers um, on the Amazon um, vendor central is it saves um, Amazon money, uh, not only in like shipping weight and storage and all that stuff, but obviously putting dunnage in and that sort of thing on the, uh, you know, FBM side or drop shipping via vendor central, if they're asking you to do this. Um, yes, it can save you money as a, as well, you know, without uh, having to, you know, wrap things or put dunnage in box. But overall, my experience with this is that it's not worth it unless you have some really heavy duty packaging or, or box that qualifies for frustration free packaging that somebody would expect to be shipped in its own box. Let's say something big like a, you know, a, a, a barbecue or something like that, right? Um, one last thing here. We get a lot of people um, coming and then asking us to get them out of this program, frustration free packaging. Um, it is a real headache and it takes a while to um, get this removed from the program. So keep that in mind if you are looking in um, going for frustration free packaging. But there's a little, uh, some little quick tips on this. And uh, yeah, my name is Jason with my Amazon guy, and that's a quick tip.